Now to an unorthodox way to fight Chicago violence. It's a unique story you'll only see here on CBS 2. Our Jermont Terry takes us inside the maximum security unit at the Cook County Jail. People accused of committing crimes now trying to stop them. Chicago is a world-class city. 1834, go. But it's a city in crisis. Somebody oh, God. The entire world is looking at this catastrophe in Chicago. From a surge in violent carjackings. You tried to interrupt it. To an unprecedented string of mass shootings. You tried to cease it. And more than 100 children shot in the streets so far this year. You've tried to bring more police. You've talked about the National Guard. Everyone is asking what can be done to make it stop. I know the pain of being locked up in prison. This man believes the solution starts here. No one has gone in and included the very people that are doing these things or have the propensity to do these kinds of things in the conversation of how we clean up the violence in Chicago. No one until now. The only people that can stop this is all of us. I'm 25, I was 20 when I got locked up. Inside the Cook County Jail Maximo Security Division, we find inmate number 2015-092-8304. Behind the tattoos in the Department of Correction jumper, He's simply David Brown. Don't you give up. You can't. Five years here. That's how long Brown's been here without bond, awaiting trial for a murder he's accused of committing hmm. in 2015. He's spending but this day getting to know this to man, Victor Woods, time. along with nearely 100 or other violent inmates. About. You're all right now living a nightmare. A nightmare Woods has lived firsthand. I started my first armed robbery ring when I was 16 years old. After serving time in prison for armed robbery, Woods only elevated his criminal resume when he was released. I came out with a degree in counterfeiting, a degree in credit card fraud. In 1988, prison, Woods started one of the nation's largest credit card scams, ripping off more than $40 million before finally getting caught and locked up. He served 14 years in federal prison. I know the ultimate pain of looking in the mirror and wishing that you had made a different decision. That's why Woods and his friends, many who are also ex-offenders turned businessmen, are back on the inside. All trying to convince the 6,000 Cook County inmates, many repeat offenders themselves, to address what's happening outside the jail walls. This is a young man that killed Hadith Pendleton. He didn't mean to do it. He was shooting at somebody else. They are showing Look these the accused face. murderers the impact of their crimes on real people, their families, and their friends. I didn't know all these shootings was going on, all these kids getting shot. This is unique, but it's necessary in your opinion. It really is. I mean, I do, I, I will say like that I have a genuine concern. I live in the city of Chicago. Which is why Dr. Jane Goopser, the executive director of the Cook County Jail, jumped at the chance to let Woods and his group speak their heartfelt message to the most violent offenders here. Ultimately, I hope someone leaves here and gets on the phone, maybe talks to their friends, a little brother, um, a, a sister, someone, and says, you know what? It's not worth it, right? Think, think twice about what we're doing out there. When you look at the faces of these individuals, uh, these inmates, are you, do you think it's hitting home? I think so. I think that there's a lot of people here who wish they could have gone back in time. The exact sentiments of the youngest inmates I met. How old are you, KK? I'm 20. Kiraco Basarakos, or KK, has been locked up since he was 18. Moments before sitting in this chair, he found out he's not getting out. The court denied him bond. He will stay behind bars until his trial on attempted murder charges. So I kind of lost hope, you know, I hung up, I hung up my phone call with my mom, you know. I was mad, mad at, them, mad at everything. Ever since I got locked up, you know, it, it woke me up. So it just, it sucks that there's still people out there doing the same thing I was just doing. KK says he's truly troubled by Chicago's violence, even though he's accused of contributing to it. Why do people in Chicago, like people like myself, we always got to do something illegal. We got to move past that. The only people who can change the culture of what's going on in this city is all of you. That's why Wood's message offers more than hope. He was in the same shoes as me. And you know, if he can do it, then I can do it. It demands a commitment from the men in this room to make a pledge. It's called Spare the Children. A promise to keep women, children, and innocent lives safe. May I please have a show of hands 
of everyone who is willing to sign this pledge, please. Raise them high. Let everybody in Chicago see it. Face the camera, let them see it. Raise them up. One by one, those same hands signed, including David Brown. David, was there any hesitation after listening to this presentation to sign the pledge? Not at all. No, not at all. No hesitation whatsoever. He motivated me. I promise you, I'm going to send it to somebody. Somebody. Somebody that I know who has a big influence on other people. People don't normally go and talk to the people who have committed the crimes and say, stop the violence. To me, this is common sense. What do they got to lose? At the Cook County Jail, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Wood was not paid to come and talk to inmates. He plans to go back, though, to the Cook County Jail later this year to finish and get additional inmates on board.